Um, I wanted to I wanted to go to sleep, but this is this is important. So I feel like I need to give this message before I try to fall asleep because it's just gonna nag me until I give it. So um, I want to give this message before I go to bed. It's gonna nag me until I give it out until I um, um, give you the message. So I was laying in bed and I was hearing this, like, you need to, you need to get on there and tell them, you need to get on there and tell them this. And, 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 and I was asking like, what, what is it? And hello, you guys. Hello. And spirit was saying that, um, you're mistaking your gifts for a curse. This is a message. This is a message. You're mistaking, you're mistaking your gifts for, for a curse. And it's leading you to feel like, um, I, I'm hearing, hard 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 breathing i'm hearing levels of oh anxiety mm, i just got a funny feeling in my mouth your your gifts you're gifted and you're you're telling yourself like uh you're okay the way i can't get this message out is the way you're feeling like you don't understand what's going on when you start to feel very anxious like social anxiety anxiety out in public anxiety around people and and i want to tell you this this is a big message for you if you're watching this it's because it's for you and yes and you could say well there's a bunch of people here how could it be for me and everyone else very easily i'm shaking giving this message literally shaking and spirit is saying that you're very psychic and psychic psychically oh you are super gifted some of you have ooh, you don't even know the power i feel like i feel like this is a message you're going to be like 33 right there, the number 33. Um, you have to connect to, to your higher self here. Some of you need to do a meditation meditation with you and your higher self because you're very, you're like, look at my nose itching right there. You don't even know the amount of, oh, I'm getting pressure, crown chakra. You guys, this is a message. It's coming in hot. You need to tell them that the I'm hearing the the pulse pulsating feeling they're getting in their heart. Maybe some of you don't realize what that is, but it feels like your heart goes boom, boom, boom. like it, it. You know when your heart beats, but no, it's in the middle of your chest and it's like a pow. It's like an explosion in your heart. And spirit is saying, you need to tell them how gifted they are. They're not understanding. I'm hearing grandma, 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 Celi, Celi, Celia. Um, oh man, some of you are connected. If you have blonde hair, blue eyes kind of children, or you have blonde hair, blue, it's not blonde hair, blue eyes, it's real light eyes, and like you wouldn't expect that in your family. I'm hearing Nordic, something with Nordic here, and I'm hearing cor corporations of the galaxy. Oh, my left hand, my left hand. So, okay, um, some of you really have the gift of knowing. Okay, so it's clear cognizance is what a lot of times when I'm doing messages. Clear cognizance is one of my biggest powers, and um, you know, clear vision and all that is too. But clear cognizance is something where I know something without knowing how to fuck. I know that. That's exactly what clear cognizance is. Cognizance, co clear cognizance, is, and you have that. You you're able to know things, but you never really know how you know it or where you're getting the information from. But it happens to be that um. Who sit in tune with your feelings like here's those of you who struggle with i'm hearing i'm hearing multiple disorders i don't know multiple disorders this could be mental or physical whatever it is with those of you who are struggling with it um your guys are trying to oh man they're telling me we've been trying to get your attention we've been knock knock knocking on heaven's door i'm hearing that literally right now um they've been tune talking to you and tuning I'm hearing beep, 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 beep in the ears. There's vibrations happening. There's these little things that are happening. One, I'm seeing one of you guys right now. They're showing me someone right now. Um, I'm hearing black hair curly laying in a bed. Um, what color are the walls? They're like a, I don't know, it's a darker color. I'm looking, I'm seeing like a, uh, It's if, it, if it, this is a brick color or brown, it's like a darker color and one thing I want you to do is take those dark shades off of your window. I'm hearing that. Take those fucking dark shades off your window. They're causing you to sleep all day and makes you feel more depressed. They're saying let the light in. Really open up and let the light. Your room is too dark. So whoever here has a dark room, 
Whoever has a dark room in their home, you need to lighten up the room and open up the room. It's too dark in there. It's like too, too, too dark, okay? Um, so they're saying, yeah, PTSD, something. They're talking about the what you're assuming is like a mental disorder. Like in social, I'm hearing social anxiety. I'm hearing anxiety a lot and mm, nervousness. Some of you will really get like a panicky feeling in your chest when you get around certain people because you're... Your spirit is just not comfortable around these people. Okay, whoever is dating somebody named... I don't know if his, if I'm hearing a name that you're dating, but I'm hearing Juan, Juan, Juan and Johnny. I'm hearing those two names. Whoever is dating someone right now, and I, f I feel like this person leaves... I'm hearing leaves, leaves you on red and also keeps you on... like. On 10, I'm seeing somebody's like, it's a thermometer. I'm seeing the, the, the red hot heat go up and up and up. Oh, it's like this person's making you very tense and, and very irritated. So whoever this is, you have to drop this person. I feel like they're carrying a serious, like, I'm hearing overload of entities. Like, I don't know. They're just, um, <clears throat> Ooh, I'm hearing deal, deal with the devil. So th this is feeling like something where some, a particular message to somebody here that when this person comes around you, you feel very, very drained, okay? Um, you have blackout curtains in your room. Okay, take those off your room, okay? Take those blackout curtains off your room because once I took... So I have this little thing, but the light comes in my room. My room, I do not have um, shades in my room, lights, because uh, I, I want to... When I wake up, I want the light to hit me because if not, I will sleep for a very long time and I've been I've been really changing my sleeping habits. Oh, I'm getting this message. One of the things you need to also know when you're sleeping off off hours, off peak hours, so like let's say you're taking you're sleeping, right? You're sleeping like um let's say you're sleeping normally, right? But then you you like sleep till like 10, 11, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock. I'm just going to say I'm hearing like sp different types of spirits get a hold of you at those times, meaning energetically when you're sleeping, um, you will travel to places that are unnecessary, I'm hearing. So sometimes I'll notice when I go back to sleep in the morning and I go back to sleep, the dreams are insane. They're absolutely insane because I'm hearing there's a different level of breeds of, of spirit during those times and they communicate with us through dreams because we're susceptible to, to communicate with them easier. But for those of you who are dealing with panic attacks anxiety or social anxiety i'm just picking that up now when we say social anxiety that doesn't mean that you have to be like it's like you go out and you always feel i always wake up night morning 3 to 4 a.m okay so from 2 30 a.m from 2 a.m i would say from 2 a.m to about 4 55 20 a.m let's say from 2 a.m to 5 20 a.m that is when the there's a, like when I say the veil is thin, it's like imagine there's dimensions and then like, you know, the veil is thick. And then during those times, the veil is very thin and there's a lot of spirit activity in those times. And because your body and your spirit goes into REM state, REM state, that's the deep, oh, like you're sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. When it goes into that mode, it's it's like you're now spirit is traveling through whatever it's floating through the i'm hearing the urethra Ooh, that's what i'm hearing it's like traveling it's traveling through the galaxy right it's like up and out so by 3 4 5 a.m they know you're dead asleep and then if they wake you up just on the right time if you wake up just on the right time they can when you wake up at, i'm hearing this too i'm so sorry i know it's fast you guys but I, there's nothing i can do when i channel when that's happening, when you get up at that time, let's say you get up 3, 4, 5 a.m., sit up on your bed. And if you, you want to listen to what you're hearing, what you're feeling, what you're sensing, because a lot of times, even our family members or loved ones, or sometimes it's just random spirits, to be quite honest with you, as long, so long as you're not uncomfortable and scared, well, most people will be uncomfortable and scared because when you're picking up energy, it's... Uh, clearer than the sacral when you picking up energy and it, it can feel very scary but it's it's not always scary so like you'll know if something's scary okay you guys first of all you'll know if something's if it's a bad spirit so call you will feel it in your you will feel sick nauseous horrible like you'll feel just it'll be bad like knots in your stomach you're not gonna feel good okay there's a difference between that and you just being scared 
You're just being scared when you feel energy. You know what I'm saying? There's two different feelings. So it's like that, that you'll know, you'll know, I know because I've had it before in the past where it's been negative energy and I'm like, oh, like this does not feel. And, then, and not only that, it'll suck me dry for like the next three or four days. Um, recently, I have not been feeling no draining. I've, I've cleared all the karmic energies that were attached to me in any form or any way. And I've cleared it from my home, actually. And nobody else is suffering from lethargic, lethargic and overeating. All that stuff, it's been cleared. That karma has been cleared. And if you notice these things happening to these patterns of like, I feel really drained flow every day I'm waking up. I feel super drained. It's like shackles on your feet. You know what I'm saying to you? Like you fucking got shackles on your feet. Like there are wood and stones and bricks on your shoulders and you slept good you ate good you feel good but you feel like you're dragging your fucking body if you're feeling like this if you're feeling like you're dragging i love you too achilles if you're feeling like you're dragging your fucking spirit through the fucking day if you're dragging along you need to clear your fucking aura and i mean this i am not t talking to you forget about just as a person who's spiritually inclined i'm talking to you as a human being if you're feeling dragged you're feeling heaviness you're feeling weight on your shoulders you're feeling like just fucking pulled down like everything is sucking the fucking life out of you i want you to understand something you need to sit in your room go outside go for a walk connect in nature sit next to a tree and just clear your aura how do you clear your aura there there's a simple technique you don't need crystals you don't need anything you could either take a bath and Pray over that that water. This water will cleanse and heal my aura. It will remove anything that's holding me down and pulling me down. If you feel this kind of dark lethargic energy. Or you could sit down and do what I do. For instance, anytime my child goes to sleep, I always envision the white light protecting over her. So that means I'm calling in my angels, calling in my guides. You all have angels and guides. I am not fucking special. I w let, let me just knock on your door real quick. I am not special. These spiritual people you see that are like, oh my God, I'm so spiritual. Like, look at my white couches and like my live, love, laugh sign. Like, I am just like the chosen one. No, fucker, we're all the chosen one. Here's where you need to, hello, wake up. You're the chosen one too. Just because they have a platform or we have a platform, I've built this platform just like you can build a platform. Uh, see, <clears throat> anytime a person want listen the, the goal of spiritual people so called you have a lot of spiritual toxicity passed around this earth so be very very aware aware of that um people that are spiritual should want to empower you to also do the work they do not to be over you they don't want you nobody nobody wants you to bow nobody who's truly on the path of enlightenment wants anyone bowing down to them and saying oh my god you're so much better than me they need to they should be teaching you to get on so-called their level, if that's how you want to see it. I don't see things as levels. <clears throat> Nobody's better than the next person. However, we do want to achieve a certain, you know, vibration that somebody's on. You see what I'm saying to you? So if you're sitting at home, you want to clear your aura, you feeling real. Listen, man, I'm going to tell you right now. I'm going to tell you right now, you guys, the earth has done a lot of cleansing. You know how I, I, could, I could feel it. I could feel it. I have talked to you several several months ago, three, four months ago. I was feeling very drained, very tired because there was a lot of movement through the earth. It was opening up of portals. The 888, the 88 portal just opened up. And let me tell you, yeah, a lot of negative energies also go through these portals. But if you've been working on yourself or even if you're just starting to work on yourself, you have to see it for the positive only. You have to listen, connect yourself to the universal mind. Picture a web, like a spider web, and this web grows and grows and grows. And in that spider web, there are different consciousness, mind, right? The thoughts, thoughts of people in every time, space, dimension, past, present, or future. Some people call that the Akashic Library, the Akashic Field. I call it the universal mind. And you have to connect to the universal mind that is good. Because if there's a universal mind, that means that the universal mind is connected to one space. It's one spot of the universal mind that's connected to, and out of this one spot, grow all of these different webs. Some of them are good, <clears throat> so-called good. Some of them are so-called bad. Some of them 
them are positive, some of them are negative. And at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Which web do you want to connect to? You know, which spider web do you want to connect to? Do you want to connect to the spider web that they only trap things that are not for their highest good and with that it feeds a spider or do you want to be in that web that's just constantly trapping you it's grabbing you up it's putting you in the spider web keeping you locked away in your own prison which is usually here because prison starts here it starts in the mind you know you we are we are created on this earth for one purpose in the beginning right but you have to break free man listen every single one of you is born free but you're born in shackles you're born in both when people are saying we're born slaves we're born we're born free we're born in both it is up to us to choose do we want to be free do we want to be stuck which one are we choosing when we see things as when we don't see things as good or evil or positive or negative and we just see start seeing things as they are then we will feel the freedom within us and freedom is a vibration it's a frequency it's something you have to feel within you when you begin to feel that freedom you begin to free your fucking self from all the bullshit people that don't give a fuck about you or your highest good you free yourself from all the time you not it is not up to you this is not your responsibility to clear other people's karma stop putting yourself in situations and relationships whether they be family friends best friends whatever it is stop putting yourself in the way in the path of other people's karma and thinking that it is up to you to clear their karma that is not how this works you can't pay someone to clear your karma this is not we're not making deals with the double here okay you're with the light you were with the love you're with the light so your job and your business is to obtain enlightenment through reaching through deep down within yourself clearing and cleansing all of the things that are keeping you held back from every time every space every dimension past present or future it is not up to you to fix your mom's karma your dad's karma when you're breaking Breaking generational curses, that doesn't mean that you're breaking other people's habits. What you're doing is breaking it by not following the cycle. Do you understand me? That's how it is. You're break you're the way you're breaking that cycle is not following the fucking patterns of everybody else. Don't worry about what Tom, Dick, or Harry are doing or Jessica, John, and Joseph are doing. Worry about what you don't worry. Do what you're doing. Do what you're doing, what is the best to your ability. Don't pressure yourself because you're not fucking magic. You're not, you're not. You are magic. I was going to say you're not Magic Johnson. You can't just get rid of HIV overnight. You don't have millions of dollars. You know what I'm saying? But look at the metaphor. You know, the metaphor. Because, you know, the cure to everything does exist. Sometimes you need the money for it. Sometimes you need the brains for it. You get what I'm saying to you? Sometimes you need to know people. Sometimes you need to know yourself. Just the patterns of this world are different. They're going to go up. They're going to go down. They're going to go left. They're going to go right. It's up to you. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? How, how long are you going to be drained for? How long are you going to allow spirit, people, places, and things to suck you dry? How long? It's up to you. How long? How long do you want to do it for? Because we all allow it to happen for a long time. And a lot of us do it for our own good. I love you too, Bianca. A lot of people do it for our own good. Let me explain something to you. Even if you're dealing with spiritual energy that you're pull, getting pulled down and all that shit. And you don't know how to release it. I, Practice clearing your aura every single day, but also understand something. If you're experiencing something and it's pulling you down, it's weighing you down, and you feel like you can't get out of it, this is a lesson. You're only going to learn from this and get out of it. What you don't want to do is get stuck too deep in the darkness. You don't want to get lost in the darkness because if you get lost in there, it's very hard to get yourself out of it. This is like when spirit crosses over. If spirit does not, at least in the first three, five years of their passing, don't try to go to the light they get stuck and trapped where they are and they become trapped spirit and somebody has to come and remind them hello hey you don't belong here we have to go so you have to go you have to get out of here you have to ascend you're, you're stuck here you're earthbound it's the same thing in this earth dimension being a human being is one of the hardest lessons you have to learn and one of the hardest things to get through because you need to learn lessons limitations and love you need to learn those the three l's lessons limitations and love but it is the easiest place to become ascended and because it's here it's if you get stuck in the darkness you got family friends they'll come pull you out in the spirit world you could possibly just get lost somewhere in the dimensions and nobody can find you so find yourself now before we have to send an army out to get you because listen i've sent plenty of armies to get a lot of people out of places they don't belong in the spirit realm i've done it 
and you don't want to go there, the places that I had to go pull some people out and remind them like, hey, you don't belong here, stop. They're not fun. And you got to have a heart. You got to have some fucking heart and some goddamn balls to travel to some of the places that I had to pull some people out of the fucking shithole that they were in, that they had no clue they were sitting in. And let me tell you something. I've been in the darkness. I've been in the darkness here and I've been in the darkness in this in the energetic world. They're both difficult places to get yourself out of. So if you're in darkness right now, you're feeling the pull, you're feeling the dragging get out now get out before you become in too deep this is your moment you own it take the fucking chance take your fucking take the reins take the bull by the horns and get the fuck out leave leave and i'm not talking you, you can you can be in if you're like flow how can i leave i'm in this situation i mean whatever it is that you're in whatever it is that you're in if it's not working for you and you have a chance leave leave now but i will tell you if you're somewhere and you can't just leave and you can't just do this because the finances and all that get yourself out energetically first and the rest will follow you have to start with i am leaving this place i am moving from this toxic environment i don't resonate with this therefore the universe is helping me remove myself from this situation little by little i am slowly saving money i am going to get this job this job is coming to me now i am doing well i am doing great i am not stuck i will be unstuck i will get out of the darkness i am not going to be remaining here i am worthy i am super worthy i'm always worthy i've always been worthy and i'll always be worthy ain't nobody else gonna stand there and tell you you're worthy man no, they're not. You're not gonna. You ever been in a relationship where a guy was like, "Baby, you're worthy. Baby, you're worth it." I'm sure they have, and I'm sure they will. But that's not where it's gonna come from. The worthiness has to come from within us. You know, look, I get it, man. It took me a long time to find my worth. It took me a long time to find my worth to the point where I can't call other girls stupid or or sluts or bitches. And I watch some of the stuff that I've done in the past. And don't forget, everything I have is on TV on record. And everybody's sending me DMs, and I'm laughing about it because I'm like, that's why I had to heal myself because I was I was very easy to get angry and judge another person and now I have to take a look in the mirror and, and look at myself and go, Flo, is that how you really want to talk to somebody else? Because I remember a time when people spoke to me like that and it didn't make me feel too good. Finding yourself, finding your worth, recognizing that nobody controls you. You have nothing to fear. I'm fearless when it comes to spirit and it comes to, look, man, I'm, I'm a human. There's times when I'll be sitting down and I'll feel like I'm hearing a voice or I'm feeling something. Of course, I tense up for a second. It's like, it don't matter. It's not about spirit. Even if a person just came out of nowhere and was like, yo, I'd be like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to you're gonna glitch for a little bit, but you'll be fine. There's nothing to fear and nobody's going to control you. And if you can... If you just stop letting these fears control you, because that's what, fe yo, it's not even spirit at this point, even if a dark energy is following you, chasing you up and down the block. And I've told this story before, but I'll tell you again, there's a man who's talking to another man and the man says to him, I can't sleep at night. Every time I fall asleep, this demon chases me and it keeps chasing me. He goes, every single night I go to sleep and this demon chases me. And he goes, okay. He goes, so he goes, oh, I fell asleep again the night. And guess what? The demon's chasing me. And and again at night, the demon chased me and the guy goes to him, why don't you just stop in the dream and ask the demon why he's chasing you? He goes, hmm, that's a good idea. So he's sleeping. And of course, what do you know what? The demon starts chasing him. And he, the, as the demon's chasing him, he stops the demon in the dream and he goes, why are, you, why are you chasing me? And the demon turns to him and goes, I don't know. This is your dream. You see the, you see the logic there? You see the logic there? I don't know. This is your dream. You tell me why I'm chasing you. It's your dream. I'm the one who's stuck chasing you. You know what I'm saying? You are not only freeing yourself when you let go of the darkness and the hate and the anger and the jealousy and the bitterness and not forgiving. You're also freeing dark energy. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? You're not just freeing yourself when you forgive people. You let people go. You let things go. Even if things, people do the worst things to you and you let it go. You forgive. You let go. Do you understand how much you're, you're just not freeing just yourself up? I'm being grabbed in the arm here. You're not just freeing yourself up. Listen, I've had many, many encounters, situations where I could have lost my shit. You guys do not understand the amount of patience it took me. 
for all of the attacks, personal attacks and not personal attacks I was receiving from the spirit world, from different dimensions, from astrals, I had to realize something. I know that I want to put the blame on these people, these places and these things, these things, but what am I doing to attract this energy? And I had to forgive each and every time, even though sometimes I wanted to get real angry, like enough is enough already. Like I can't take it no more. I had to forgive and I had to let go. Clear in that left ear, please stop, stop tapping my ear. Um, I had to let go and forgive a lot of fucking people for a lot of the things that they did. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Like you have to forgive people because think of it this way. And this is a message for you, for you. I'm hearing you motherfucker. This is a message for you. You know, there's just some motherfuckers that just can't let go of shit. They just can't let go of the past. These people are hateful, hateful sons of bitches. Mm, are they hateful? But if you do the hate with them, then what are you saying right there? You're just saying, I know, I hate I hate too. So we hate together. So don't be looking at that person and that person because they're hateful and they're mean and because you're giving the same energy they're giving you. We don't match energy around here. This is bullshit about I match energy. No, the fuck I don't. When you act like a crazy, evil, psycho, demonic, fucking crazy bitch running out of closets with your fucking eyes popping out, teeth grinding everywhere, you think I'm going to match that? No, baby. I'm going to send you lots of love and light and lots of healing because it seems like you really, really need it. Do you understand? I think I'm frozen. But I'm just telling you guys, that's the message for you. I would rewatch this, send it to people. This is the time where you're going to cut and let go of things that you do not need in your life anymore. You don't need none of this shit no more. You do not need any of this stuff in your life anymore. Do you understand me? I'm sending your brother healing. You don't need none of this stuff in your life anymore. Ever, ever again. It's time to cut the cords. It's time to clear your aura. It's time to clear your energy. Because me, these motherfuckers out here, they have it out for themselves. It's not you. You got to see things as I see them now. Nobody has it out for me. They have it out for themselves. I'm just, I'm just somebody who just, you know, triggers something within them. And that's on them. They have to work on their self-healing. I can't fix nobody else. All I can continue to do is find the love and the space in my heart to find. Let me tell you guys, and this is coming through. I don't know if somebody needs to hear this because I'm, I'm hearing this. Say this, say this. I'm seeing a man, a man with dark, he's black and he's got black hair, but he's got gray hairs like on the side of his hair here. He's very, very, very particular. And he's asking me to say this. So I'm going to say it. <sighs> I'm hearing, baby, you know, you know, them people is no good for you. And you keep going around like this person is really, really calm. And they got like, baby, you know, them people is no good for you. And you just keep going around them. Um, it sounds almost like a Louisiana, Louisiana accent. I'm hearing like a country down south type of accent here. And this person really wants you to know that these people, you know, they're no good for you. I'm, I'm just, I'm going to say I'm seeing a couple of girls. I don't know. This is like a group of people who hang out on the regular. I'm just seeing a lot of smoking and drinking here. I'm not judging nobody, you know, but I'm just seeing it become a toxic situation. Okay. Your uncle? Okay. Well, I'm seeing it become a toxic situation. And I don't, I just want to say this. I'm, I'm going to say this. This is for someone, I think you might be younger. You might be like 17, 18. I'm not sure. Or just very young looking. I'm just seeing people in a car and they're not being responsible at all. How did you know? This is what I'm hearing. This is what spirit does. They give me messages and I give them out for a reason. Just there's something about a car to be careful I'm seeing like dirt back roads, you guys. I don't know what, like what this is, but can I say wherever you live, they have no lights on these roads and I just see dirt roads. Like mm -hmm, somebody's touching my face here. I'm here in Zaya, Zaya. Mm, oh, Tayana. Ah, oh, my, my, my left thumb right here. That's weird. My left thumb. Wait, what? They're telling me to look at the screen. What? Which one? Which one? Oh, 111. Look at that. <sighs> Tell her to not get in the car with those people no more. I'm hearing it just like that. This person's voice is very like 
tell her not to get in the car with those people no more. Like, it's like that. That's how I'm hearing it. Um, I'm hearing Jones, something about the name Jones. Leo. I think I heard Crenshaw. I'm not sure. Uh, Cren Crenshaw? Crencher? I don't know. Something like this, okay? Yeah, like the Bayou. Ex Louis, 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 Louisiana. Louisiana. Wait, how do they say it? Nolens, Nolens, right? Like, I'm hearing it like that. This is what I said. This is what I'm saying. And that. And listen, look, I'm telling you guys right now, there's a message for you. Be careful with these people that you're hanging out with. I'm hearing, uh, damn, what's that name I just heard? Timmy? Or Tom. Tom Tomer? Timer? What? Tomer. Something like that. Jones is my last name and my family is from Louisiana. Look, I'm just saying to you, there's people that they're sitting. Um they're just saying this is a message for everyone, but I'm just going to tell you that messages when they're coming through, when spirit is collectively giving messages, they're not focused on names because they get they they know that this message is going to resonate with several people. It's like, look at it like this, like a group of people standing together and be like, my, my niece needs to get this message. My daughter needs to get, hear this message. Let's all stand here and give the same message and it'll get to them. They don't, it's like, they don't need you. To, you don't need to know exactly what's coming, but it's for you. That's what you need to know. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it. You know what I'm saying? You're going to feel like, oh, shit, I think she's talking to me because, mm, man, I'm getting swelling in the hands and feet here. I'm hearing lymph, lymph notes, lymph, lymphatic, something with lymphatic fat or did something with the lymphatic, lymphatic fat or disease, something like this. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, something about a tumor. This is coming up for some reason. This person either had a tumor or something like that. Um, I I heard something. I lost my left. I I lost my left something. I don't know what they're saying, but I'm hearing. I lost my left, and then that's all I heard. Um, okay, I'm hearing Stephanie very strongly here. Is a name, Israel or I, Israel, something like this, a name like that, okay? So anyway, okay, um, a couple more messages and we're going to go to bed, okay? Guys, we're going to go to bed after this. So let's pull up the messages, whatever else anybody else needs to hear here that's specific to them. I'm hearing something about a grandma here, grandma. And then I'm hearing Willie. Again, I'm hearing the name Jones. Tell them, tell them, tell them to change. The message that we got here in the beginning is what they're saying. And I'm, I'm dead serious when I say this. They're telling you to rewatch this message from the beginning. Something about this message that they gave because it was coming from a collective and I channeled the hell out of that, the heaven out of that. And they're saying to watch it because there's something in the message that is going to, I'm here to save your life for some of you men. Uh, I'm here do not, do not get into drugs. Somebody here, let me just say, this is for someone here that families, somebody's worried. Oh my God. They're worried that if you start, it's not going to stop. Okay. So there's, I'm seeing a mother who did drugs and then they're afraid. They're not afraid. They're warning you that there's a, there's a possibility that the, the cycle, the, that's why they want you to watch this from the beginning. They're saying this has to do with your, your mom. something here with like the mom drinking doing drugs they don't want you to get into the same cycle okay please like it's my dead grandma's birthday oh my god grandma happy birthday grandma my mom did weed yeah i'm talking this is deeper this is more than just weed though this is somebody who i see an angry mother she just gets she's she's pretty skinny here and she gets up and she like yells for no i'm seeing like it's toxic. It's toxic. I don't know if somebody somebody's just got surgery in the back or there's something about surgery in the back. 
Okay, okay. This is what I'm saying. They don't want you to repeat the cycle. So whoever did the drugs, don't repeat the cycle. Don't do it. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Because like you, you have, you know, it's a, like me, I didn't know I was, I didn't know I had addictive personality when I first tried them, you know what I'm saying? I used to make fun of people who did drugs. And then I tried a couple of perks and I was like, mm, there, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. So just stay away from it. It really is a problem. Um, <sighs> I'm hearing left foot, right, left, left. Somebody was ah, in the army here, a soldier. I'm hearing soldier. I'm hearing in the Navy. And somebody said, nom, nom. Like, so there was some family members that you had i'm somebody one of you guys have a one of you guys have a pic has have a picture of someone in the navy hat like he's got a navy hat and he's like look at me i'm handsome like whoever this is you got a picture of him you'll know it's you know i'm talking to you there's a picture you have that you could just like right now your eyes are seeing that picture as i say that i'm hearing naval officer i'm hearing that very strongly here What was that? I heard district, district. Something about district. Okay. Okay. All right. So, okay. Um, something about a Pisces to leave a Pisces. I don't know, guys. That's what I'm hearing. To leave that Pisces. I'm hearing an accent. Don't let them come. Come, come, no come, no come. It's like, no come on, like that. I'm hearing, it's Jamaican, I think, right? Cause Trinidadian kind of sound like, no come on, no come. Like I'm hearing somebody talk like that too. Okay. Uh, can, can you, I'm hearing, can you tell my son, his mom is watching over him. Can you tell my son, mommy's, can you tell my son his mom is right here? I'm seeing like dirty blonde, brownish, like it's like almost like brown or burn, thin hair. She's got a, a almost a rectangle type of face, like a long rectangle type of face, okay? Mm, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a message for, I'm telling you, they're gathering together to give the message. I, you know, I do handle messages for my spirit guides, so they'll get the messages that are most important and send them out. And um, I'm not, I don't, it's not like spirit is all surrounding me right now. No, they're with you, whoever's around you or whatever is around you, your family members and all that stuff. I'll pick up on it and my spirit guides will get the messages and I'll be able to give them back to you guys. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Irie man, like that, like that, I was hearing. Mm -hmm. Lester, I'm hearing, I think. Le Lennox or Lester? It's it's a Len Les. Well, those are two different names, but maybe I'm hearing both names. Lester, Lennox, Leon, something like that. It's not a name that I would say, say often. Um... I'm seeing money here stacked up, but I don't, I don't know if this is a shoebox or something in the closet. I'm seeing a couple of hundred bill, dollar bills here and you're worried about it. You're like looking at it like, damn, my money low, yo. Like, damn, you spend some money on some stuff and you're mad about it, but they're saying just stop. You put so much pressure on yourself over this. You need to get, stop selling drugs. Whoever that's for, you got to stop. You have to stop. This is now I'm hearing it's coming. Mm, I'm hearing that song to the wire, to the limit, to the. So to me, that song represents somebody who's getting to that point where, like, all right, you got away with it. Mm -hmm. Like, take a little bit of money you made and get the fuck out. So somebody's going to see that and hear that. And that's a message for you. I'm hearing Uncle, <laughs> Uncle Danny. Uncle D. Uncle D. I keep hearing that. leaving the 
I'm seeing some kind of job here. I don't know if this is a cell phone store. Something about opening up your own mechanics, mechanic, your own car fixing place, like mechanic. I'm hearing that. I have an uncle, Danny. He's a very bad man. Hmm. Well, I'm hearing that. That's, they're probably... Okay, okay. They're probably... Okay, okay. I'm hearing don't trust... Don't trust him. Um, you need to watch your back around a friend of yours here. Um, I'm hearing the letter J. T. I just don't feel like somebody needs to hear that about a friend or somebody who's like being fake with them. S, I'm hearing the letter S too. Ooh, guys, I'm getting, this always happens. It's so weird when I, when I channel, my hands get and feet get very swollen. Um, something with the heart chakra here too. There's just like a, There's a lot of problems in the family right now, I'm hearing. They they have to resolve this. Tell them you need to resolve this. Some of you are fighting over, like, is this money? I'm, I'm seeing over somebody who passed and then their money. You guys are fighting over their money. I think I just saw a little white dog and a, and a gray cat, like a dark gray and light gray striped crap, cat, cat, crap, cat. Jay, oh my God, my brother, he's out to get me and my family. I, I, he's, is he on some kind of substances here, Pink? Because I'm seeing somebody with um, a bottle. When I see a bottle of pills and, and a bottle of alcohol, that means they're mixing stuff and they're, they're sort of, um, they're not able to think clearly. This person is paranoid. I'm seeing, I don't know, God, I'm seeing cameras all over the house. This is so weird. Like somebody's watching people in cameras. Oh God, it's so weird. Um, scan, uh, Skinnerd or Leonard? I don't know. Skin, Skinder, Skin, Skinner, Skinner. I don't know. Um, I'm here. Just get. <laughs> That car, somebody has a car. I broke down a couple of times in the past three months, I'm hearing. You, you, I know it's hard to get rid of it. I'm hearing she she wants to or they want to. It's financially, it's hard, but that car is just a, a headache. I'm hearing, what a fucking headache. Somebody needs to check their brakes on their car. If you're driving with a car with brakes that are not doing well, you have to check that shit. I'm hearing, I'm hearing could go out at the wrong time. Oh, I'm hearing that. I have a pain in my left foot right now. Something's going on with the left foot. Let's clear the energy. Clear, 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 clear. Clear, 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 clear. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it, clear it. Okay, thank you. Guys, we'll go for a little bit longer here because I really, um, you know, there's important messages. And I feel like these have been some real, like, detailed messages here. My niece just took a bottle of pills and alcohol and is in the hospital now. Oh, wow. She's so fab. Does anybody know why she she took those bottle of pills? Because I'm seeing somebody. I feel like she's she's not telling you guys something that happened to her. God forbid. I hope it's not. But I'm hearing something with um. I something. I'm hearing something about a boy at school. I don't know if that's for you, but that's what I'm hearing. Okay. I think I heard the name Jerome. Jerome? It's weird because I'm hearing the weird, weird names that I never heard before, like Jerome, Jeromeo, Jeromeo, or something like that. Jer Jeromeo, Jer Jeromeo, listen to me. Over a boyfriend who broke up with her, but she's not telling us everything. She met him at school. Wow, okay. Okay. <sighs> yeah, she's not telling you everything. I would really. 
it's not over a boyfriend who broke up with her just there's something mm, mm, yeah i don't like it i'm not feeling good about that i just feel very uncomfortable right now so mm. you need to talk to her and just tell her like be like listen listen i know i know something more happened you can tell me what happened I'm not going to tell anyone. Make sure she knows that you're not going to tell anyone. <sighs> this is, is something stemming from just childhood, I'm hearing. Too, it's important that you talk to her about this, okay? It's important. That she needs support right now and not judgment. She don't, don't, nobody, make sure, nobody, please don't have nobody say this is important. This, this young lady is important. Her life is important nobody judge her be like oh i can't believe you did this over a guy what's wrong don't say that to her no you want to yep you want to speak with your heart please speak with your heart the whole, whole time use your heart use your heart okay all right you guys um okay. let's see what else anything else real quick real quick please something about a gemini Leaving a job, something about leaving a job here. Going in, you're, some of you might be going into that corporate world that you were expecting yourself to go into. So that's going to happen. We think something more is going on from childhood. You know, I, I didn't want to say it. She's so fat, but I did hear the word rape when it, when you talked about her. Again, I was hearing that. Okay, uh, let's not. Don't assume nothing without you know finding out because you know you don't want to go on and be like i know you've been raped and she will be like the fuck but be like listen i was just wanted to ask you did anything happen i just keep hearing uncle 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 oh god i just don't you know i don't want to assume nothing and i don't want to throw things out there but this is what i'm hearing something about an uncle and i'm hearing rape and i'm hearing school i'm hearing two people there's like this is so weird like i can't it's like so weird I'm seeing, I'm just seeing somebody walk in the room at night, okay? That's what she said he did to her, but it's not making sense. She said he raped her? Hmm. Hmm. This is what I'm saying to you. I'm, I'm, I, you know, when I first initially saw it, I saw two, two guys, two guys doing some, mm, I don't know, some sneaky shit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay, wow, well, I heard Gemini a new job and I just got one with corporate. Yeah, the rape is not you, I know, but that's for that too. Hi, XO, I love you. Um, yeah, um, um, so she's so fab, yeah. I know it's not making sense, but you have to be gentle and listen to what, she, don't listen to what she's saying, listen to what she's not saying, you hear me? Because she did this a few years ago also. We think something more is going on from childhood. That's what I'm saying. When somebody craves attention, she's so fab. Just don't listen to what she's saying. Listen to what she's not saying, I'm hearing. Because she's not telling people something because of something. There's a reason why, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm going through a rough time. I'm in an abusive relationship. Do you have anything for me? Um, yeah, you got to leave because I'm just going to say, I just saw somebody choking somebody out. I don't know if this just happened to you, but I just saw somebody get choked out and, and it's like a kitchen and in a hallway. And I, and I'm hearing like you, this person will kill you if they have the opportunity to, I mean, like that's a message. So Flo, I'm so lost right now. Can you please speak to me? <clears throat> case Corp. you're you gotta you gotta give yourself a little time k scorp there's like there's this feeling of like um first of all i don't know if you just went through like some kind of major breakup or something like were you with somebody or is there's like a child or baby so i don't know i'm seeing a whole scenario here of um a big break apart so this could even be from family but i'm seeing a break apart okay um <clears throat> Um, so I'm seeing a big break apart. You guys, I'm going to um, tune out after this, please, guys. Love and light you, but I can't keep going. Yes, you did. You just went through a big breakup. Okay. So I'm going to tell you something. This is going to be your spiritual awakening, K-Scorp. This is going to, this is what brought me to my spiritual awakening, the big breakup I had, the big breakup. And I'm going to tell you right now, 
I followed my intuition and, and when I let this person go, I cut the cords with them. And when somebody breaks up with you and it's heartbreaking and you're hurt and I'm hearing cheated on you with somebody that you knew or you were close to, I don't know, I'm just seeing that for somebody. When that happens, <clears throat> you want to cut cords as well as, um, you want to cut cords as well as cut, um, cut cords as, long, as well as cutting ties and relations with this person okay cutting cords and relations with this person i can help all you guys yes um i i'm not gonna do it all tonight you guys because i do like to try to get to bed by 1 30 and it's already 1 32 because i'm on the schedule and if not i end up sleeping all day and i i am i'm a person who's been working on my schedule but maybe tomorrow night i do a live and we'll get some people on but you know um i will help as many people as i can with whatever messages i can you know um <clears throat> I did recently, like three days ago. Okay, so if this is a message for, I hear this for a few of you. If you go, if you gone through a big breakup and this person really hurt you, like really bad, like you're hurt, you're hurt to the point where candy can't sleep. I'm hearing can't focus, and you need to focus. I'm hearing for the baby. I don't know what that is for, but I mean, I I get it, but <clears throat> I don't know if it's for you. But you have to focus and understand that this is going to be your awakening. These next stages, whatever you experience and you went through, and I'm I'm. I'm seeing somebody get like in a real bad fight with their dad. Um, whatever has been happening, this is going to lead you to a major awakening and it's going to be so good for you. I know right now because you're zoomed into the situation, you're sitting in the middle of your own, like you're, you're sitting in the middle of the shit. It smells real bad. But once you start stepping away from it, you're going to look back and go, thank God I left that shit behind. Like I don't have to smell it no more. You know, it's like right now you're in the fucking, you're in the throes of it all. But I promise you, you will feel so much better in about, I'm hearing three months from now, you're going to be a totally different person. <clears throat> I love tuning in. I feel everything around me heavy when you go on. Yeah, because, you know, spirit will gather around us, um, around you guys. So the way I see it, the way I work, I will never invite spirits to just come here and be like, come into my house. No, that's not how it works. I'm like, you're with those, you're with the people that you're with, that you're watching over, you're looking over. And my spirit, my guides, my guides, if messages are important, they'll ask them, like, what do you want to say? What's the most important thing? And then I'll start talking real fast and channeling messages. And that's how it works. Okay. I wouldn't suggest anytime you do readings or you tune into spirit, you invite them to be with you next. Year. I can't uh, keep clearing my energy. So I say, stay where you are. My guides will get the messages and my guides and me work together. So I'm not afraid of them. But for my niece, do it again years later. Later, over this guy doesn't. It doesn't make sense to the menstrual causing to the menstrual, mental issues. I'm wondering if she has mental issues, period, or if something happened to her as a child. So she's so fab. <clears throat> It's 100% a post-trauma, something that is triggering this behavior. You have to get, she needs therapy, help. And I know you guys have tried. I'm hearing that you've tried. She needs to go into some real deep counseling. This is like, she needs to nurture and heal. And someone, she needs to be able to open up to someone. I feel like maybe if you took her alone, because I feel like she will be very open to speaking to you. Mm, but you don't I don't here's the thing I'm gonna tell you do not look at her in a judgmental way I get it I know you have this vision of like what she does and it's a pattern of behaviors and you want to kind of be like but she's done this before but I'm hearing go into it sensitively like as if you never met her before treat her like a stranger and she's never told you anything about herself and find out what is the fucking basis to this behavior okay what is it because Triggers can come out later on years in life. You could be molested by someone when you were little, forget that it even happened to you or lie to yourself and tell yourself it didn't happen. And years, years, years later, in your 30s even, like me, I was 27 when I started to experience, when I had my daughter, everything came to light. I was like, boom, now you're worried because you got a child and it brings up old things that happen. And now you're scared that it's going to happen to them. This is a very tough thing to deal with when we're dealing with these people. You're in a dark space right now. You don't know what to do. Listen, I've been in dark spaces many times in my life. I am the dark space master. You know, look at, 
look at look at me right now and just go how i'm gonna laugh at that because flo is showing me something she's telling me look at her she's been in many dark spaces but now she's laughing about it like i'm the dark space master you know the shadow master you know shadow this is the shadow self okay key um kx this is your shadow self and it's gonna teach you who the fuck you are you need the darkness to step into the light sometimes you gotta walk through hell to get to heaven baby you got to walk through the fire to feel the ice. You feel what I'm saying to you? You got to go through the darkness to get to the light. You have to. You have to. You have to. Everybody goes through the darkness and then achieves light. Enlightenment doesn't come or spiritual awakenings don't come when your life is perfect and pretty. Don't get it twisted. I went through times when I was dead broke. We had no food growing up when we were little. My dad passed away and my mom was alone. I went through all that and then I grew up and went through very dark place i'm talking about dark motherfucker dark dark dark. i don't even think there's a color for the color dark that i was experiencing but look at me today using all of that darkness that i went through gained supreme knowledge from the darkness and brought that all out and became a part of the light and the love and now i'm using all of the knowledge that i've gained from those dark times and i'm grateful for it today at the time i was going through the darkness it felt very i'm never gonna get out of this it's never gonna but let me tell you when you want to get out of it that's all the angels need they don't need you to kill yourself and put yourself under pressure I'm not, why am I not doing it? All they need from you is a thought. I want to get out of this darkness. I don't want to be here anymore. Please help me. Angels and guides, please help me. If my life is giving you a warm feeling in your chest, that's not coming from me. That's coming from your angels. They're standing over you right now. And I'm not just, I ain't filling your ass with hot balloon air. You know what I'm saying to you? I'm talking because this is what I'm hearing, baby. I'm getting tapped in the crown chakra so hard here. I'm getting heat activation in the crown chakra. Your guides are telling you, babe, that you, whatever, you're so welcome. You're so welcome. You, I, I want you guys to understand something. We've all been there, man. We've been through the breakups, the makeups, the darkness, the pain, the no food, the no money. We've all been there. You're talking to some, I wouldn't, I, listen, I'm standing in front of you right now telling you, bitch, I was on fucking, I was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Fucked up. And nobody's perfect i'm not like oh my god look at me i'm perfect no no <laughs> no because <laughs> we all deal with shit back 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 and forth right but now it's like when you get to this point when you realize this darkness is going to <laughs> flow i watch your ass for years i love you too antonio i love you when you look at the fact that you're in that darkness right now but this is exactly what's about to bring you enlightenment all the dark behaviors the habits i'm going to tell you right now if you're in a dark place the one of the weirdest and silliest ways i got myself out was number one i did not eat fast foods and things like you understand food is energy right you get that right so like when you eat mcdonald's taco bell wendy's you know that's energy you're putting into your body right Mind you, if you eat at home, you cook at home, let's say you ain't got the money to do that. Fine, I understand. Try to find healthy things to eat because when you're in a dark place, darkness follows you. So that means that you're now vibrating with the darkness. So everything that's not good for you and makes you feel worse, they're going to keep giving to you so you can feel guiltier or feel worse because guess what? You're a food source to dark energy. Let me get you out of the darkness. You want to know how I'm going to get you out of the darkness? Stop being food. Stop being a food source for darkness. For dar And I'm not saying darkness like that's the bad. Stop being a food source for these low vibrational entities. Nobody knows this, but I guess not. It's out. I've been abusing drugs for six years, and today I promised myself that I'm completely done for the sake of my daughter. And you can do it, because I abused it for five, six years myself, and I thought I would never get out of it, man. This is what I'm saying to you, being alone in a hotel room in fucking Atlanta somewhere, hosting a club because I was doing a show called Bad Girls Club. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Why do you think I don't involve my, do you not know the darkness that feeds off of the light? The light cannot be, you can't, you can't be 
in the darkness because you are a, you are of the light. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? K Scorp, listen to me, babe. I, I've had many nights where I was in that hotel room shaking because I needed another perk because my body couldn't take not being without the Percocet because I was taking so many a day, 30 milligrams of sniffing them, smoking them, whatever, drinking them, eating them, whatever you can do, I was doing it. And I'm sitting there alone, shaking, shaking, scared. The room was dark. I was hearing voices. People were talking to me. I was seeing things in front of me. They were telling me, bitch, we're going to get you. It was, I thought I was going to fucking die many, 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 many times. But each time I started to pray and say, I don't want to do this anymore. Please help me. Please help me. I swear I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. Please make it stop. Make it go away. Make it go away. And little by little, do you know, the angels, the guides, my family, ancestors, came in and started to push this darkness away slowly but surely it takes a little time but they started to push them away push them away put them push them away and guess what i worked on myself through their strength they gave me the strength they they lifted me up there was days when i couldn't get out of bed bro i was i'm telling you for days for days for days and one thing i'm gonna tell you right now okay scorp anybody going through anything whether it's drugs relationships whatever it is one thing you cannot do when you're trying to work on yourself is feel guilt and shame about what's going on can i tell you the secret to getting out of darkness stop feeling shameful and stop feeling guilty this is your journey there's a reason you're experiencing this the lighter the heart the purer the soul the darker the attacks the harder, the stronger, the more powerful the darkness attacks you. Because they don't want you to step into your power. So when you're going through all that dark shit and you're in that hell hole, again, let me tell you something. That darkness knows what they're doing. They're like, oh, she's a part of the light. She's powerful. We got to do all our strength, put all our best into keeping her in this dark space. Let's put all our team together and keep this motherfucker dark and lonely and sad and terrified and scared and fearful and feel guilt and shame. Let's keep reminding them of what a piece of shit they are. And if we keep reminding them what piece of shit they are, they keep telling themselves, I'm not worthy. Now you believe you're not worthy. Now you don't want to get out of the darkness because the darkness is making you believe you're not worthy. And when we talk about the darkness, we're not pointing to a particular item, person, place, thing, demon. We're talking about the darkness in us that's born within us i feel so happy right now the warm feeling in my chest is getting warmer and she baby it will happen all of the things we want to work on will happen one of the things i stopped doing is putting pressure on myself everybody's learning is transforming on their at their own pace for your help, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll try my best to get out of my abusive relationship. Please wish me luck. I'm not just gonna wish you luck. I'm gonna pray that the angelic guides come up in your crib and they spark a light bulb in your mind and do what they did for me was ding, that light bulb's gonna go off. And if you don't get yourself the fuck out of that situation, something could happen to you. And guess what? Unfortunately, everybody's gonna say about you, Karami, she had the chance to get out of there or he or whatever, and they never did. So I mean, they should have just got out of the relationship and you'll be looked at as another statistic, just like people who die from drugs and everybody goes, well, they should have stopped doing drugs because people have absolutely no heart and no, they don't give a fuck. And they assume that everybody who got killed in an abusive relationship or died of a drug over overdose is a piece of shit bum who deserved it anyway, because they couldn't stop, but they've never been in that dark situation. Just like when a person is going through a breakup and you're not, and you look at them I'm going oh my god just get over them do you understand put yourself in other people's position in their shoes when you start to have empathy and you start to have compassion for others you will understand because your neighbor's pain is your pain their joy is your joy okay so if someone's in pain and you're looking at them going, oh my god just get over it that's when you make your shit man you might pull some karma right back to you so be real fucking careful about who you laugh at and judge and point fingers to and go well, they're a piece of shit anyway. They deserve it. Nobody deserves pain. Let me tell you something. Nobody deserves to suffer and nobody deserves pain. It's happening for a reason. There's a reason we all experience pain, trauma, suffering. It is for our own good, our own ascension. When you start to see things as gifts and stop seeing them as curse, 
as a curse, your life will transform overnight. Everything I saw as a curse or as negative before, I now see it as positive. And it's just here to help me further myself along in this, you know, journey of ascension, okay? It's the feeling that being alone that scares you. Let, let me tell you something. I've been alone for like four years now and going through a spiritual awakening and getting yourself spiritually in tune, being celibate, not dating, because you want to heal yourself and heal past traumas and let go and forgive people. And one of the tools that I will tell you is to forgive this person or forgive whoever beat you or raped you or, or whoever handed you that first drug or whatever it is. You got to forgive yourself and others and don't judge yourself or others. And it's the only way to freedom. Stop judging yourself. Stop telling yourself, oh my God, I'm such a piece of shit. Why can't I do this? Because you're a fucking human, man. I'm only human after all. Don't put your blame on me. Like, stop putting your blame on yourself. It, it's a lonely journey, right? It's a lonely journey when you're finding yourself. And so let me tell you something, um, Karami. When you don't let go and you don't, you're not willing to be by yourself in all forms and all ways, you'll never be able to be by yourself or love yourself. You have to learn to, from now to stop. To stop depending on other people's love. You should never ever be like i need to find someone who makes me happy what do you mean you need to find someone who makes you happy you need to be happy find someone who adds on to that joy <clears throat> she's so fab you spoke to me earlier when you said get away from johnny earlier that he had a lot of entities i think you said i haven't spoke to him in two weeks stay away from him you're doing a good job keep staying away from him you are so motivational and inspirational. Thank you so much for the push and drive that I needed to get me back on track. Come on, Karami, we're all praying for you. This is, we, 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 we've all been there. It's fine. It's fine. Just stop judging yourself and just say, you know what? It's not even about this or it's not about that. It's just, I know my worth and I don't belong here with somebody abusing me mentally, physically, emotionally, okay? Emotionally too, you guys. Emotional abuse is very powerful I, you know taking a punch to the face you can heal those bruises when somebody damages you emotionally and mentally it takes a lifetimes to heal that okay <clears throat> now i'm not saying getting that sounded wrong but you know what i'm saying to you right a bruise is like a, it's a it, it can heal you can heal that bruise and you'll forget about it right Right? You get in a fight with somebody, God forbid, outside, and oh, you got a bruise. You're going to, when somebody's damaging you emotionally every day, it's going to take you lifetimes to get over this. People do past life regressions, and it's taking them lifetimes to get over somebody who abused them a hundred lifetimes ago. <clears throat> yeah, well, you know what, sexy? You tell them, don't do that. I'm not comfortable with that. that. Those are my boundaries. You set boundaries for people and you set boundaries for spirit. You guys, you don't have to be asshole, an asshole jackass about it, but hey, this is what I will accept. This is what I will not accept. The trick and the key to boundaries is to keeping them. Now, that's like if someone cheats on you and you keep letting them back into your life, <clears throat> those boundaries have not been set. This person right now thinks they have control over you <clears throat> because you let them keep coming back they keep cheating on, on you. you you keep letting them come back yeah you need you know how you're gonna heal faster karami by forgiving these people for abusing you mentally physically and emotionally would i do baddie south on on zeus hell no <laughs> do you see the do you do you, do you see that shit like are you not seeing the ghettoness or is it just like me am i the only one who's able to see with my goggles that something's not right here we're like going backwards you know this is like let my people go uh freedom <laughs> what's going on we're still in these shackles we're still doing this fucking 90 years old still on bad girls club i mean let's really grow the fuck up <laughs> what are we doing corrupting brand new souls why 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 stop working for the devil stop working for the devil stop it just stop it Stop, because I worked for the devil, and like, MS fucking ate me alive. <laughs> I'm 38 years, 39, 38, look at me, 39 years old. I'm about to be 40. I got a whole daughter who's 11 years old. Do I look like a fucking retard or something? Hey, uh, Eliana, honey, mommy's going to go on a show, and I'm going to fight people. <laughs> huh? 
yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to corrupt a whole brand new set of souls. Let me just go on in into the hell. Just why don't you just go into hell, right? Go into hell. Put your motherfucking, your, your fucking lasso, your fucking bowl in your mouth, your chains, and then go into there and ask the devil, what would you like me to do? Fight him? And he'll be like, go and corrupt the young children's minds. Okay. <laughs> what? No. <laughs> 39 is young, but it ain't that young. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's young, but it ain't young enough to be on TV fighting. I did that shit before I had a daughter. Just so you, all, your, all you guys will be like saying shit. I was 26 years old. When I went on there, I had no kids. I had nothing better to do in my life. And I just went and did it. And today, I told the universe I'd rather be, which I'm not, I'm not, but I'd rather be dead eyes broke than go out there and make a fool of my goddamn self and corrupt young minds everywhere. I have to be the change that I want to see. I can't be a part of the corruption anymore. I've worked for the devil and that shit paid me very little and gave me a lot of problems. Because it is well within my soul. I feel that peace in here. You know? And even when I did do Bad Girls Club, let's really talk about it. I I fought for gay people, black people, for women. You know what I'm saying? I, every time I had a fight, it was some big, there was some big fucking label behind me that says she's fighting for the LGBT community. She's fighting because this white bitch is saying about black people. She's fighting because this and that, because you're you're making women look crazy. She's fighting for men because women are gold diggers. Like, think, watch the fights I had. They were never because, oh, I just feel like fighting today. I'm bored. No, I was having fun. I was like, this is a fighting. I fought when it came to the last point. You understand what I'm saying? <sighs> Do I support Danny Victor suing the state of California? <sighs> That's like asking me if I support politics. <laughs> I don't know shit about it, and I don't care. <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> no, I'm not. First of all, Bethany, let me just tell you something. If I did do a show like that, and I saw Natalie and the rest of the girls, I absolutely have no beef with none of the girls. That's what you guys don't understand. You would hate me on that show, because I'd be like, oh, my God, love each other. Nam yo holding your kyo. You know what I'm saying? You'd be like, oh, my God, get this fucking spiritual, want to be best friends with everybody, bitch, off the show, giving people readings and shit. That's all I'd be able to do. I can't. Do you, <laughs> you want me to be in a house full of demons? <laughs> I'm going to be sitting there like, I'm burning. I can't breathe. Get me up. Get me up. <laughs> Sage, Sage, Palo Santo. Like, come on. I'll have to wear like a thousand crystals, some Sage, some Palo Santo. The whole fucking, the, the staff will be get, getting readings. I'll be getting all the girls together to sing Kumbaya and shit. For real. By the time I leave there, it wouldn't be Bad Girls Club no more. I'd be like, the girls love each other club. You know what I mean? <laughs> be like, I love you. You love me. Everybody walk out holding hands, skipping and shit. The whole show will be ruined. It'd be ruined. You don't, I'll ruin the whole fucking thing. They want drama and I don't, I don't have drama. I don't hate anyone. They could be like, you ugly ass bitch. I'd be like, love and light. I can see that you have a lot of past trauma. Did you get raped when you were a child? Hold on. I'm hearing the name. Uncle, Johnny, Rev. <laughs> They'd be yelling at me. I'd be like, hold on, hold on. There's a name coming through. There's a name coming through. Angelo. Do you know an Angelo? An Angelo is coming through for you right now. Do you, did you do? Okay. Okay. I need, I need to talk to you. He's coming through for you. You know what I'm saying? I'm coming, baby. Look at her face. My daughter. Stop. All right, guys. All right, all right. I gotta go. Good night, guys. I gotta go. It's been real. Hard chocolate, hard chocolate. Okay, I gotta go. Bye, guys.